Math. Welcome to Easy Access Math. Today, we have an advanced math edition on the binary system, or base 2. You may find this concept in some credited college math courses, uh, both in computer science and mathematics. So let's take a look at base 2. You know, in the regular number system, um, we use 10 digits from 0 through 9. And so you have the 1's column, the 10's column, the 100's column. So, for example, here 236 would be 6 1's, 3 10's, and 2 hundreds. That's our regular number system, base 10, the one you know and love. But in base 2, we only have two digits, zeros and ones. So, one is one, but one zero, which looks like 10, is actually two. And one one, which looks like 11, is actually three. And here's how you uh, translate binary base 2 numbers into base 10 uh, equivalents. What you would do is you would put your base 2 number into a chart or a grid. Now remember with our base 10 numbers, we have our 1's column, our 10's column, and our 100's column. Well, in binary or base 2, it's 1's, 2's, 4's. The columns start with 1 and just double. The next is the 2's, then the 4. Here's a larger chart. One, two, four, eight, double eight, sixteen. Sixteen times two, thirty-two. Just keep multiplying by two for the next column. Sixty-four, one twenty-eight, two fifty-six. And you could keep going and going. Make as many columns as you need, depending on the size of your number. You want to put the number into the grid. So what I'm going to do first is to take a binary number. Here I have the number 1101, and that's in base 2. So you would see a little 2 after them to define that that's base 2. And I'm going to take that number and put it into my chart. I'm going to start with the 1's column, so I'm sort of writing it backwards, and then there I have it, 1101. And I'm going to erase this illustration here. I'm going to do some work up here so you can see that. And what I'm going to do is if a column has a 1 in it, remember it's either 1 or 0, if it has the 1, I'll add the top of that column. So I have a 1 in the 8 column, I'll put an 8 there. I have a 1 in the 4 column, so I'll include a 4. But I have a zero in the two columns, so I'm not going to put zero in. And I have a one in the one column, so I'll put that in. And so I have eight, four, and one. I add that up, and I have 13. So one, one, zero, one in base two, in binary, is equal to 13 in base 10, our regular number system. Why don't you try this number, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, in base 2. Put it into a chart, just like I did, and try to work it out, and I'll be back with the answer in just a minute. Now, try the example on your own. Stop the video and work it out. Then resume and I'll be back with the answer. Okay, I hope you got to work it out. And I hope you enjoyed that short break. Now, let's put this number into the chart. Zero, one, 1, 1, 0, 1. Notice I write it backwards so I make sure that my numbers fit into the chart. 
And so I always want to start filling it in from the ones place down. That's why I wrote it in backwards. Um, so what I'm going to do, same thing, I'm going to add the numbers with a one in the column, ignore the num uh, numbers with a zero. We look at the tops of the columns. So my 32 column has a one in it. So I put a 32, but my 16 column has a zero. I don't put 16 in. My eight column has a one in it. My four column has a one in it. My two column has a one in it. That gives me a total of 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. I add those up and I have 6, carry the 1, 46 is my total. So 46 base 10 equals 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 in base 2. In just a minute, we'll come back and we'll try doing the reverse. I will give you the base 10 number and I want you to come up with the binary number. So now we have a base 10 number, the number 98 in base 10. And I want to transfer that and put that into binary notation, base 2, using only ones and zeros. Here's how you do it. I, I created another chart, same kind of binary chart, starting with one and doubling each column. And I ask myself, starting with my 98, which is my target number, what is the highest number that could go into my 98 on the chart? And that's 64. So I put a 1 in the 64 column, and I subtract 64 from the 98, and I'm left with 34. Now what's left? The highest number that goes into 34 on the chart is 32. I put a 1 into the 32, the highest number without going over what you have as your remaining balance. And I take away the 32 from the 34, we'll make that clear, that's 32, and I'm left with 2. Well, I only have 2 left, so 16 can't go into 2, 8 can't go into 2, 4 can't go into 2, but 2 goes into 2. I have a remainder of zero now, and there's nothing left, so I put a zero in all the remaining columns, which is the ones column. So, in base two, 98 is one, one, zero, 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 one, zero. The number I got from the chart. Why don't you try 139? Now, try the example on your own. Stop the video and work it out. Then resume and I'll be back with the answer. Okay, here's my 139. Let's see how you did. The largest number on my chart that goes into 139 without going over 139 is 128. I take away 128, I have 11 remaining, which means 64 doesn't go. 32 doesn't go, and 16 cannot go into that 11 remaining, but 8 goes. I take away the 8, and I'm left with 3. 4 doesn't go, so I put a 0 there. 2 goes, and I have 1 remaining, and so I can just take away that 1. I used up all my numbers. Remember, you keep going until you get zero. And so 139 in base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. I hope that explains the binary system. Don't forget to check out all the easy access math videos. Remember, 
Easy access math makes math easy.